Good morning, everyone. So today I want to go over um, what my diet looks like over the course of a given day. Um, now, it is skewed a little bit right now because I'm getting ready for competition. Uh, men's physique, all natural as always, WADA tested, and that's gonna be um, May 12th. Now, I will go ahead and go through my diet and everything that I'm eating and the supplements that I'm taking over the course of the day, but I'm not gonna get too specific in exactly what measurements I'm doing in each or exactly what supplements and when um, necessarily because a lot of it has to do with the plan that was given to me by my coach who's helping me train for this competition and I think it would be unfair and disrespectful to give away everything that he's worked so hard to formulate for me. Um, so I'm, I'll give you the general idea of exactly what I'm doing without um, necessarily the specific details. So here it goes. So my first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I'll have some apple cider vinegar right here and I'll dilute it in some water and I'll just drink that on an empty stomach. All right, so I finished 20 minutes of fasted cardio and then this is what I'm having for breakfast. All right, so for breakfast, I'm preparing a little shake here. So I've got some uh, omega-3 cage-free eggs. I'm gonna add some coconut milk, unsweetened. I've got a green supplement for vitamins, minerals, uh, phytochemicals, and probiotics, prebiotics. And then we got our protein. And then just on top, I like to add a little uh, Himalayan sea salt. And blend it all up. And so with breakfast, I'm having, I got my um, omega-3 fish oil, a little vitamin D that my coach wants me on, and this um, natural herbal testosterone booster estrogen reducer, also helping with uh, my competition prep. All right, now it's lunchtime. Normally, I, after breakfast, I'll go to the gym, work out, and then I'll have a post-workout snack, and then two, three hours later, I'll have lunch, but today I had a bunch of like appointments and different things going on, so. I ended up having to eat lunch first, and then I'm gonna hit the gym, do leg day today, and then have my post-workout snack. So, this is what I'm having. So, we got here chicken, broccoli, jasmine rice. That's it. And again, some Himalayan salt sprinkled over top. I love me some tapatio to flavor it up, give it some spice. And then my aminos, I'm drinking. Usually, again, I'll have some leftover after my workout. Um, but since I haven't done that yet, I'm just gonna go ahead and drink some with, with my lunch. And then I have here my uh, Genvoya, that's my HIV medication, I take once a day. And then this little guy is um, Finasteride, which is a generic Propecia for um, my hair. So I can make sure I don't have hair loss. <laughs> so that's that. All right, so I'm getting ready to head to the gym and before I start, I'm gonna drink this pre-workout and then I'll be ready to go for leg day. All right, so I just finished leg day. Um, and so within that 30 minute window, right after the workout, immediately, I'm gonna get my protein on. It's crucial because that's the point when your body most efficiently and readily will uh, use the protein for protein muscle synthesis, which is what we want. And now I'm going straight home, and then I'm going to eat a banana and rice cakes, which I try to do as soon as I'm done with my workout as well. If I wasn't able to go home, I would have it with me so that I could have my shake and then eat those bad boys up right away too. <sighs> Alright, so I am home now, and as you can see here, I've got my banana to rice cakes and then I'm gonna take a little um, post-workout formula here that helps with recovery as well 
And that's that, my, that's my snack. Um, I'm probably gonna wait about three hours and then I'll go ahead and eat dinner and that'll be the last meal of the day. Okay, so this is, that's my roommate Lisa. Hi. But she doesn't wanna appear, but no. she's gonna appear no. here. Okay, 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 okay. I'll kill you. <laughs> so, and this is Riley. She's very jealous because she wants my food right now. Say hi, Riley. Say hi. Oh, Riley, your favorite. Good girl. Okay. Um, last meal of the day, um, beef, broccoli, and jasmine rice. And there you have it. That's it. Ooh, I almost forgot. Um, in addition to dinner, at the same time, I will take my uh, multivitamin and a second dose of my fish oil capsules. Multivitamin and fish oil. All right, guys, so this is it. Last but not least, we've got apple cider vinegar, which I'm gonna dilute with water. And then I will take my ZMA pills, which is zinc and magnesium. The reason why I don't take that with my multivitamin is because zinc and magnesium um, conflicts with some of the things in a multivitamin and it won't allow your body to absorb all of those nutrients, which is what we want, so we take it at the right time, right? All right, so this is it. Apple cider vinegar. Mix that baby with some water so it's not too harsh on the tummy. And then these are my uh, ZMA pills. And that's it, guys. So, you know, I really wanted to do this because I felt that so many people were hitting me up. Um, first of all, wanting to know what I eat and what supplements I'm taking um, normally on a given day. Again, this is a little different because I'm getting ready for competition in about uh, six, seven weeks. Um, but you get the idea of what I'm what I take, and I'll, I'll do another vlog where I, I go over everything that I would eat like outside of competition time and what I'm taking supplement wise then. But this is what I'm doing now, and it also serves to underscore the fact that yes, I have HIV, but I can take a lot of I can take a lot of stuff. I can take literally everything that any other natural bodybuilder wants to take. Um, I've run these by my doctor; he's okayed them. Um, I've been taking a lot of this stuff for years at a time. I don't cycle it, it's just every day, that's what I do, it's been part of my regimen. And I get my routine blood work every three to six months and everything's looking good, everything's healthy, my liver, my kidney. I can give you advice um, personally over a physician or someone who's trained in the field because obviously this is just my experience, I'm just speaking anecdotally. So. But the point is, if this inspires you, if this gets you thinking out of the box, oh, like I can't do these things normally because I have HIV, I'm limited into what supplements I can take, um, maybe this will inspire you to talk to your doctor or to talk to a professional about it and see what your options actually are. Because you might be surprised. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please, again, like, subscribe, share this with anybody that you think might find this useful. And uh, let me know what you think. Send me your comments, your questions. Uh, let me know what else you want me to vlog. And I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. All right, thanks, night.